Hello guys, it's me again here with another video. Now, you probably have noticed from my motor vlogs this uh, bicycle shifter, which is on my uh, motorbike, and um, thought, well, what does it do? Well, it's it's a choke lever because um, when I got the bike, the uh, choke lever had broken off, and it was just a, a cable with a little barrel um, connector on the end of it. And so what I did is I got this bike uh, bicycle shifter lever kicking around and I did a makeshift choke lever. So this is a technical video on how to make a ch makeshift uh, choke lever, throttle lever for anything. If, if it's a choke lever for a motorbike or a throttle for a strimmer or a lawnmower, this is how you can get round of it without having to buy the original part. So I'll take this off and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I've taken it off and I'm now going to uh, demonstrate how to do it. The things you're going to need for this is a drill bit, which is the same diameter as your barrel. This is actually off uh, a bicycle. I'm not going to put it on onto this because I tried it doing the first take and it didn't didn't work because that's a bit bigger than the one on the motorbike. But basically, when you that that kind of was the end that was um, uh, similar to the end on the motorbike. And to operate the choke, you just had to sort of like pull it, and then it would sort of spring back. So yeah, this is why I used a bicycle lever. But anyway, that's what you've got to accommodate for. So on the motorbike, you get a drill bit, same diameter as that. And I'll sh now take this thing apart and I'll show you. Uh, well, I ha had to take it apart, put it back together again. But I'll show you how I um, made it. The other tool you will need is a hacksaw. So when you get get these things off a bicycle, you just sort of you, you can take them apart. You can undo this one by hand. Some of them you might need a screwdriver or an Allen key, but um, basically just uh, unthreads like so. Comes off like that. Pulls off. There's a few washers here, so you want to save the washers. And here are the components. Uh, of the uh, the shifter. Now, first modification you have to do is obviously the cable. It was just a hole through there. Cause that's where the cable, if I get, demonstrate this cable, will butt up to. So to get it in and out, I had to make a slot because I'm not going to thread. Because when it's on a bicycle, you actually thread the cable in. But as I'm not going to thread the cable in, I had to make a slot um, so that it fits over. So. That's easily done with a hacksaw. The other thing I had to do, this is the other, this is the sort of like this little bit of housing. I had to, you had to think, okay, you have to think where's this cable going to go. Um, and I actually had to get a hacksaw. It's made out of plastic, so it's not a problem. Similar reason. So I could basically, to demonstrate video purposes, thread the cable through, swapped out. The other piece I had to modify was this. Okay, now when it's on a bicycle, you obviously where the lever is, you thread the cable down this hole, go around the slit, and then it will go through the other components, like the, the plastic housing and the mounting plate, so that's why you don't need the slit. But with this, you can't thread it through there. I actually had to drill a hole. And what I did was I aligned everything up with a housing plate, the lever, and work out where to housing plate and the, get it into, into view and the lever and foot and and sort of measure it all out to work out where the hole is going to be. Then I just got a, a drill bit, same diameter as the barrel, drilled it through, and then I, mean, I won't be able to do it with this one because this uh, barrel is way too big. Basically, I had to put a little little slip there. The I think I used a uh, for a standing knife. I just slip it in. It goes in there. And it goes around that groove. And so, I slipped it in. Slip it through the slots. Put the whole thing back together again. And that's how you get your lever. Um, and that's how. And then you've got a simple thing like it's just that. You can you can bend them and you can put it on either your handlebar or the bar of your strimmer, lawnmower, and you've got a makeshift uh, throttle cable and it saves you having to buy a part. 
Um, I hope that's uh, helpful. Sorry it's a bit of a bad video, but um, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, this is just a quick supplemental thing to show you how it's actually put together. Now, you can actually buy these shifters. The best situation is actually if you find an old bicycle with one of these shifters on it. If not, you can actually, I've had a look on the internet, you can buy them for about £5, or probably about um, 7 8 US dollars. Uh, they're reasonably cheap uh, off the net, either eBay or Amazon or, or somewhere. So first of all, we've got this, which is uh, the uh, shifter. Well, first, before I do that, on this little peg, I'm going to put a washer, because that's needed. Then I'm going to show you how to thread this on. So basically, where the where I described before, this little barrel. So this is the, the choke lever that I talked about, the choke cable. Fits in just like that and around and then goes in the little on the little thing in the little slot that's that bit done okay just angle the camera a bit there we go um, and then next we put on the top of that two two little washers and they go then the, the housing, which also has the slot in the back that fits over, just to fiddle this in. There we go, that's in. And then finally, the little thing that screws over the top. Just like that. Okay. And it's a, as simple as that. Um, so it's on your handlebar uh, to get them on and off you can prize them so yeah if you find one on a on a bicycle that you need and then there's your working choke lever I'll probably have to move it slightly in a bit because it's uh, hitting the mirror but you can always just check the side of the, the carburetor which is uh, down there and see the choke thing moving and that's basically it <laughs> thanks guys